joining me again today for another Project Live Catch Up Friday video. So for today I've got week 23 for you and I'm mainly going to be using products from Studio Calico Documentary Kit from September 2016 called Last River as well as various um, kits from Felicity Jane as well as Hip Kit Club and also Ali Edwards Kits, it's Ali Edwards kits as well. Um, the first thing I'm doing here is I'm just using the um, washi tape which is from the hip from the Studio Calico Documenter Kit and just adding the, the two numbers, so the 23 to represent the week. And I'm also adding the date using my roller date stamp. And I've also used the white ink, which is from, uh, it's, I think it's Brilliance. And the color itself is, I think, Moonlight White or Moonlit White. I can't remember. I think it's about, it's Moonlight White. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also added a, a dash there, just um, using my white gel pen there. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add this piece of um, plasticky rubber phrase, which is from the Felicity Jane Maggie kit. And I am adding some journaling using the silver pen, which is from Ali Edwards um, shop. And I believe it's the same one as you is the American Crafts ones. And so yeah, so it's just in case you're interested in getting one. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this word phrase sticker here, which is from the Believe Story Kit. And the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some journaling onto this photo here. Decided, I decided to cut up a piece of 3x4 journaling card, just a white one, and I'm going to add, I'm going to stamp directly onto it using a stamp from the Up Stamp Set from Ali Edwards. And I'm also using the ink from Ali Edwards as well, I think it's called Olympia, the colour. And the and I was just kind of seeing where I want to place this card here. I decided to round the corner just on the top so that I can place the card at the bottom. And I'm just adding some I'm adding some adhesive just so that it can I can stick that down and also outlining the the border using my number zero a precision black pen as well. And I'm just adding some journaling. Um, it's relatively short with this one, so I decided to get something for the first time from Victoria's Secret store. And so that was fun going in. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a wooden piece here, which is from the Hip Kid Club's scrapbook kit from October 2016. And this wooden... Um, Embellishment pack is actually, I believe, it's from We Are Memory Keepers, and yeah. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to create my own journaling card. I decided to um, cut up a white. So I've got the white piece of three by four journaling card. I cut up the rounded corner area, and then I'm also cutting up a piece of pen paper, which is from the Mag from the Felicity Jane Maggie kit as well and then I'm just adding that strip of pan papers on the top and then I'm just going to add this piece of wooden um, embellishment here just on the top as well just on the top across there and I use the rolling adhesive there and to be honest now that I can think of it I probably should have used the glossy accent but I think it should be okay it's just mainly because I added quite a lot of glue on it so yeah the next thing I'm gonna do is just adding some journaling I decided so I talked about the photo on the right of it as well as the bottom um, underneath it so I talked about the we went to a cafe on Monday afternoon before we went to the gym and we ordered passion fruit tart which is which is really tasty <laughs> Um, so the next thing I'm doing here is I'm just thinking about how I want to embellish this photo here. Um, I I don't need to add much journaling onto this photo. It's just mainly because I've got a spot, a 3 by 4 spot just above it. So I decided to stamp directly onto the photo. I'm using this stamp set which is from the Maggie 
um, kit as well from the, um, Felicity Jane's Maggie kit. So with Felicity Jane you get a stamp set as well as the actual products which is really good value. So you get less, you know, fewer cart stuff and those kind of embellishments and stuff but you get a pack of, you know, a stamp set which is really, really cool. And I'm just stamping that down using some st the Stace on Black Ink and I clean that up using, you know, some baby wipe, a bit of baby wipe as well as the um, Stace On Cleaner. And then I also outline the 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 stamp area using my Sharpie Black Pen as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to create my own journaling card. So say 3 or 4 journaling card to go on the middle right there. And I am just kind of going through a bunch of pen paper, seeing which one I want to use. I want to try and do something slightly different with this one. I instead of just want to add, instead of adding a strip and pattern paper either on top or on the bottom, I decided to just cut out a three by four um, piece, and then I'm just gonna cut up this white three by four journaling card from Project Live to um, to go in the middle. So essentially just using a pattern paper to mat that um, that white card stuff there. And then I'm just going to stamp, I think, directly onto that card. So just to create a, you know, a prompt for my journaling. I decided to go with this stamp, which is from the Stuff Story stamp from Ali Edwards. And I'm just using my Versify and Black Ink. And then I'm also going to outline the, the image there using just my 03 Precision pen there. And sorry, no, zero eight. So, and the reason I'm using number zero eight is mainly because the the image itself is actually you know the lines are, are quite thick. So I just want to kind of mimic the the stamp image there. Um, and now I'm just adding some journaling. I'm keeping it quite simple. So I add it just in the middle, kind of um, in the kind of central center area there. Now I'm moving on to the right side of the spread and I am going to work on this photo here. There's a bit of space here. I decided to kind of create a kind of a cluster I guess of embellishments. I decided to go with a few pieces of these chipboard stickers which are from the Drive Story Kit and so I've decided to choose, I decided to go with three of them and it's I think what does it say I think it's like go road trip and take me away so I sucked it down I decided to add a couple more pieces so I add a cork star on the top and also a wooden camera there on the bottom and both of them are from Sue Calico as from Sue Calico's shop um, they're not from a kit, I believe I bought them separately, just from a, it's actually a Suikaiko branded product, but I think I might have bought it from a local, from a shop in Australia somewhere, because I don't think you can actually, you can still get them anymore, um, but I, I think Freckle Fun might have some of them though. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I am going to create another journaling card, and I decided to just use a white a plain journaling card and then just cut that up and then add it um, adding a strip of pattern paper on the top and with that strip of pattern paper that one is actually from the Felicity Jane kit um, called Maggie and so I'm adding that on the top I'm also going to be using this strip of printed piece printed cut die cut piece which is from the drive story kit as well from Ali Woods and I adhere that down using my tiny attacher mainly because I felt like I needed a bit more kind of dimension onto the card and I didn't feel like it, there's enough space to add you know wooden pieces or any embellishments on the side. Now 
The next thing I'm doing here is I'm just adding some journaling. So I talked about the photo on the right of it. So we had that for breakfast on a day we went on a really long road trip. So we drove like almost three hours to a place, um, you know, it's, it's kind of a most southern part of um, mainland Australia. So and then we went for like, you know, a four hour walk, four hours walk or something. And so that was like 12 kilos. So that will probably be like 24 miles for some of you in the US. No, actually, it will be the opposite. So it's, um, so it's like six miles, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was the other way. Anyway, um, the next thing I'm doing here is I'm adding, um, I'm just stamping directly onto a white cardstock using this stamp, which is from the Up Story stamp set from Alleywoods. I've used the, um, the ink from the from Ali Woods as well, so the Crafters Ink, the orange one, and I believe it's called Tillamook. And now I'm just adding some foam dots so that I can stick directly onto that photo there. And so that's a photo of a wombat. So we on our walk we saw a bunch of you know animals. So we saw some kangaroos and wombats. So and for some of you who don't know much about wombats, they they're really hard to you know spot, so they're pretty shy. So, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna add a I, I wanna punch out a circle kind of to add some journaling onto this photo here, just to kind of mimic the the kind of circles onto on the photo. And so I started with the the other side, and I started again. So so I, I started to use this side instead, which is essentially there's a you can almost pick out what it is. I think it's it's a um, an antler. I think it's like in you know, a top of a deer or something like that. So and I kept it like that, and also added some hearts with and they are from the tough story kit from Ali Woods and that three or four journaling cards I forgot to say, say that it's actually from Sue Kaiko kit from and it's called Lost River <coughs> now the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a, another journaling card to document a little bit more about that trip that walk we went on and so I decided to use the back of that strip and pattern paper, which is from the Maggie scrapbook kit, so Maggie kit from Felicity Jane. I'm also going to be using this rubber piece, which is from um, from Ali Woods uh, Drive Story Kit. And so I'm just kind of adhering that down. I'm just using a spare piece of three by four journaling card just to make sure that I get the correct size and then I am just adding some journaling there I decided to go with um to, 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 excuse me decided to use two pens this time so using the zero three as well the zero eight just to kind of add a bit more interest and you know just I, I feel like um the two sizes kind of create a bit of a movement and it makes it look a bit more interesting and that is exactly what I'm doing here. There's no real method to my madness, to be honest. I essentially just like push on one I feel like to you, um, like using. So, and so that is it, you guys. Um, I think that's that's the last thing I'm going to be doing on this spread. Um, once I manage to. Um, put it in um, so that is it so here's some close up you guys thanks so much for joining me again today I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and if you want YouTube to let you know when my next video comes out please subscribe and I hope you have a great day bye mm -hmm.